welcome everybody to our match today. A match is going to be played in the rain. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. Alan, uh, conditions that favour attacking football? Yeah, I think so, Martin. When the conditions are like this and the ball skidding across the surface, you normally get plenty of chances and you normally get plenty of mistakes as well. Manchester United in excellent form. They certainly showed it in their home match, their last match against Liverpool. Yeah, really good, solid win, efficient 2 0. And uh, I can see them carrying it on and winning again. The Aston Villa team for this game. Brad Guzan starts in goal. Ali Sissoko starts with Alan Hutton as the fullbacks. Fabian Delft starts with Ashley Westwood in central midfield. In attack, Andy Vyman partners together with Gabby Agbon Lahore. Greg Pawson, the ref today. Agbon Lahore. Well, it's a chance to attack in numbers. He can cross it now. The ball is headed on uh, away from danger. Andreas Weimann. Mata. To Falcao. He read it and cut it out. Westwood. Andreas Weimann. Good forward play from them. That's very well read. And that's a very good interception. Falcao. There's an update from uh, Alan McAnally at the Britannia Stadium. It's a goal for Chelsea. It's been scored by Oscar. He got onto the end of a cross and buried the header. 11 minutes played, 1-1. Cheers, Alan. Trickery and pace from Valencia, no chance for the defender. Powell. Mata. Found his teammate well. He's got space. And in the end, the move did break down. The defenders came out on top. gone up it is offside it's a really tough one to call the players question it all the time but uh, it's offside to me Alan yeah, you do have to take a chance when you play that kind of game but they're confident in the way that they're regimented at the back Mata Rojo there's some hot news for you from St James's Park from Alan McInally it's a goal for Sunderland 22 minutes played 1-0 thank you very much Alan had to reach for it and slid into the tackle. A bon Lahore. Sanchez. Referee playing the advantage for Aston Villa. That's a real tussle for the ball there. Tom Cleverley. We've got a suspension to deal with today, Alan, for the home team. Probably the first choice centre midfield player, and he's banned. Yeah, I mean, I suppose it was going to happen. He, he loves to put his foot in, but it is a chance for this lad coming in. You can see that offence again here. The ref had a good angle, good view of it as well. Yeah, he's come back. I like this kind of refereeing. Play the advantage, and go back and punish the offender. And uh, that's what he's doing here, yellow card. You see it happen too often where the referee blows straight away and he doesn't. Let advantage be played, but uh, not this time with this fella, he did well. Vialba. This is the sort of side with the credentials to win the league, and they're getting themselves in a good position to do that. They are, I mean, they've not been uh, phased at all by being top. Sometimes it can affect teams uh, in, a, in a less than positive way, but uh, they look as if they're made for that top ranking. Ali Sissoko. Throw it. Mata. Vialba. That's really well done. Good defending will be a corner. 
was the replay of the tackle. To Dyne Art, and uh, he did that magnificently. them to not sooner or later. That's a nice pass, a headed pass to a teammate. Westwood. Great portion stepping in there, referee. players out there, they just haven't been able to produce their best ball. Second half to come after a first half which was more about sparring really than in any way settling the destination of this match. Yeah, both sides pretty lifeless. Uh, I can't see it continuing because there were, there were enough good players out there. Westwood. They've got the ball rolling again straight away. Fabian Dell. Alan Hutton. That's a good chance now to cross. He's going to cross it. Sanchez. It's a very good game here, a tight one. And trying to get themselves into a position to take the lead. Aston Villa's next game, Alan. What about that? Well, they're playing Swansea City in the next match in the Barclays Premier League and they need a good start, but uh, I don't think they're going to get one. It is a key moment in the match, really. And the manager here not settling for level pegging. He's going to try and do something to put his team into the lead. Got the ball back through a very good interception. Fabian Delph. Benteke. Back to him again. Excellent positioning and the interception is made. Falcao. And it's another attack from Manchester United. Now they can use some width. That's a good pass. 
Now Powell. Safety first from the defender. Can't blame him for that. The Alba. That's a chance to attack in numbers. Got the tackle in. Carlos Sanchez. An opening for Aston Villa, in with a chance. They've still got an opportunity here after the goalkeeper parried it. He read it and cut it out. This could be it. An offside call just at the moment where they thought they were going to be in to score. Yeah, they feel hard done by, they, they think that was well onside. When they look at the replays tonight, they'll see that the linesman got it right. To Falcao. Ron Vlaar. All back now for Aston Villa. Well, it's not just two banks of four now, it's uh, one bank of six and four. They've got everybody behind there, and it's really hard for the opposition to find any space out there. On the fly. On the back of a difficult season with his English club Aston Villa, Ron Vlaar had a truly outstanding World Cup in the heart of the Dutch defending. Here's the chance. Well, that was the shot and not a bad effort. No, not bad, but uh, under the circumstances for a player at this level, you would hope that he, he can mark the keeper there. Well, we're still level here and we're going to have a substitution. Is this the way to alter the match in their favour? He is the Governor General of this team. Passed it. He's gone for goal. Raul Albiol, a real talking point at Anfield, in front of Alan McAnally, a sending off, Alan. It's a red card for the visitors, they now only have eight players, eight minutes remain, it remains 2-1. Thanks Alan. Got to be, fine save from the keeper to keep the match scoreless. Oh, it's still goalless here, not much time left, what about their next game, Alan? Well, Manchester United go up against Newcastle United after this, and uh, they've not been at the best here. They need to do a little bit better if they're going to get a result in that next match. Goes for goal! Well, we're still waiting for the first goal. The goalkeeper's responsible for that. A corner, and this could be vital. And that's the goalkeeper's ball. He's kept it. It's not getting away from him. Well, the player's gone down, and he could well have damaged a muscle. Tony Valencia. <laughs> running out of time, but still running for the ball, both teams. Here's a shot. It's still level on the scoreline, thanks to this goal. The very best time to get in front with a goal this late in the game. was superbly taken. Well, you've got to ask questions for the defence because they just didn't follow in there. What a goal and what a time to get it. Oh, the crowd has gone mad here because they know. I think we all know that's probably the winner. Final whistle and Manchester United have won. After the game, the visiting supporters will find their... Well, it has been much more of a match than we expected at the start.